Hello guys, today we are going to give you the guide on how to research the best keywords for your Google Ads campaigns. Let's get started! Hello, my name is Eugene from WebOgle and today we are going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can research and sort your best list of keywords. Start with opening your Google Ads account, proceed to Tools and Settings, and then open Keywords Planner. In this Keywords Planner, you will have Discover New Keywords. You are opening it and taping the keywords that you would like to search for. Today we will take Kitchen Cabinets as an example. So you are taping Kitchen Cabinets. placing comma to separate and click on get results. On the top, you will see the locations you can choose. So if you need to choose a particular state, for example, New York, you can delete United States and choose New York. Then on the top, you will see additional keywords that you can use in order to get as many as possible for your list. For example, let's add kitchen remodel to this list. Now you can see that you have 1K811 keywords inside your list. We will need to sort it. This sorting that you will have on Google Ads is very important because it will allow you to delete hundreds or even thousands of irrelevant keywords from your list before going to sort it manually. So on the right, you have specific sorting items that you can use. Let's try it. So you have brand and non-brand. Obviously, we are not selling IKEA, Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. So we are disabling those retailers. Then you have contractors that you can disable. So we have kitchen restoration, my kitchen and bath, art. So a lot of different companies that are providing the same services. Sometimes you can advertise by using keywords related to other companies, but we don't recommend you to do this initially. Start with broad keywords. So now, as you can see, we are deleting contractors. And then we have other brands. We are deleting them as well. As you can see, the number of keywords already decreased from 1 and 8K to 1 and 4K. We will continue. You can scroll down. Now you have kitchen design, cabinets, countertops, flooring. We are not doing flooring, let's disable it. Then you have room, bath, panty, bathroom, other. We are not doing this, we are doing kitchen cabinets. We are disabling those keywords. Then we have price 2021, farmhouse. Let it be, we will sort them manually. Now you will need to download the list that you created in order to sort it manually. We will give you some tips on how you can sort it easily, how you can simplify this process. So you click on download and you will have two options, download with CSV and download with Google Sheets. Let's use Google Sheets. You will see the file name and you will see the drive where it will be downloaded. Click on download. We are waiting once the report will be ready and then we'll need to open it. Here is we have open sheet, opening it. First of all, we need to discuss what you can see on this data sheet. The first column is keywords, the same keywords that we already collected. Second is currency. The third one is average number of searches a month for the target location. You can see, for example, here 27,100. Then you see three months changes, you don't need it. Year to year change, it's not important for you as well. Then you see the competition, don't take it into account, it can be different. Then competition index from 1 to 100, it's not important. The only two columns that are important for you are top of page bid low range and top of page bid high range. Those are the cost per click that you will pay on Google for the click on this keyword for this target location. So you will pay for kitchen cabinets, the first keyword that we have here, from $1.03 up to $3.82 per click when you will advertise on Google Ads. Now when we have filter, we need to use conditional formatting in order to find keywords that are not relevant for us. Let's look a little bit. For example, we are not selling outdoor kitchen cabinets, so we need to exclude all these keywords, but you understand that it will take a lot of time if we will pass through all these keywords manually. So let's delete them through conditional formatting. We are clicking the right button on the column, 
and using conditional formatting. We will need to use conditional formatting in order to find the text that we are searching for to find keywords that include this text. So on the right, you have the formatting functions and you use text contains. In text contains, we are searching outdoor and clicking done. As you can see, our keyword outdoor kitchen cabinets was marked by a blue color. And now we can use our filters that we created for this column to find out all the keywords. So we are clicking on the filter, then filter by color, fill color and finding the colors that we need. As you can see, we have all these keywords we can delete right now. We can choose them all, click on them and click delete rows. And then just keep our filter by color and we'll have our list of keywords. The same thing we will need to do with all the keywords that are irrelevant to our business. Let's continue. So we are searching for the next keyword. We are finding, for example, unfinished cabinets. So we have unfinished cabinets. We are clicking the same right button on the column and then we are going to conditional formatting. We'll have the last one. We don't need it anymore. We can remove it and adding another rule. Here we are clicking text contains again finding unfinished you can use unfinished that will be enough and click done then again going up to our filter and sort by color fill color here are unfinished cabinets and we are deleting them clicking on them and delete using this function you can really delete hundreds or even thousands of keywords from your list and that will help you to pass through the list faster then when you already made it you will need to continue with manual sorting why it's so important because for example you have the keyword called cabinets you're selling only kitchen cabinets that means that cabinets as a whole are not interesting for you you will not sell for example office cabinets you are selling only kitchen and that means that this keyword can drive you traffic that will be not relevant to your business you need to just go and delete it from the list manually and then you're deleting the row and going to the next and next keyword. Finally, you will have the list of your clean keywords that you can use in order to advertise on Google. Now I would like to give you some recommendations about this manual sorting of keywords because in some cases for some businesses you will need to sort some keywords and delete them even if you think that they will work for you. I will try to explain you. For example, somebody is searching for black kitchen cabinets and you are selling, you have in your assortment, the black kitchen cabinet. But the problem is, in most cases, they will not search for black kitchen cabinets to buy them, but only to see how they will look like. So they will search for images. And in your case, that means that you will pay for a click that will be not relevant to your business because they are not going to buy, and you are paid for nothing. To avoid this, we will need to delete it. The same for all colors. We recommend, for example, for this business to not use them. Then you can scroll down and search for some informational keywords or something else. For example, cheap cabinets. If you are selling luxury cabinets, you will need to delete them. You can search by using conditional formatting that we already used and find all cheap cabinets that will help you as well. If you will have informational requests, we recommend you to delete them as well, like how to make the kitchen cabinet yourself or how to remodel a kitchen cabinet yourself that will not give you the relevant traffic, you will pay for the traffic that will not convert, will not buy kitchen cabinets from your business. This final list that you will have will must be as clear as possible. It will help you to drive the right traffic. And in fact, you need to be very attentive with creating this list because you're doing this once. When you will launch your campaign, probably you'll not have time to get back, to return to your list and to analyze it. So make sure the final list is clean, it's relevant to your business as, like, as strong as possible and you're using it for your Google Ads. Now we can calculate the market volume for all these keywords and the average cost per click that we will pay on Google when we will advertise for all of them. So let's do that. First of all, we need to change the format of the cells because it's text. We'll need to go format, number and choose the number. The same for the cells that we'll use with bids that we have, low range and high range bids that we already discussed. So we use format number, number. Now let's calculate the sum, our market volume. So we are using sum function here in order to calculate 
the sum of the all searches that we have on our market for kitchen cabinets for our list. So we have 161k and 500 searches a month. Now we can calculate the average for our bid, for low range bid that we already discussed. We are clicking here and calculating average of all bids that we have. Here is the average low range bid and here is average high range bid. So for all these keywords for this list, we know that we will pay for a click on average on Google from $1.10 to $4.37. And we can calculate average between those two values. So we are using average function as well to calculate the average between them. So on average, we will pay for a click on Google ads for this list of keywords around $2.73. Obviously, if you are advertising, if you you have a small budget and you will advertise on a small part of this market, you will pay less than two dollars seventy three cents. If you are advertising for like the whole market, probably you will pay more than two dollars seventy three cents, more closer to the high range bid. But this data will allow you to calculate on how much you will pay per click on Google, and additionally for your business, you will be able to calculate how much one lead will cost you. We recommend you to multiply this value by 15 because for most industries this is 15 that is the indicator of like conversion rate from uh, leads from like traffic that is coming to your website to leads and you will have your value. So let's multiply 2.73 on 15 and we will have $41 per lead that you will get from this advertising on Google Ads. For kitchen cabinets, probably 15 will be not right, it will be between 20 to 22, just because a lot of people are searching for images instead of really searching for kitchen cabinets to buy. But for most industries, you will have 1 to 15, so you can use this number, it will give you approximate value of cost per lead that you will have from Google Ads. We hope that this guide will help you to create the best keywords list for your Google advertising and achieve profitable results. Subscribe to our channel to not miss the upcoming guides and feel the difference with Webogol.